Kira, with us on Tuesday, you saw we reported on a study that seemed to show a low carb diet is better than a low fat diet. Several people have questioned that, including our own medical expert, Dr. Peter Ostro, who was watching that night and he joins us now with a closer look. Doctor? You know, it's, it's not often that I find serious fault with an article in a respected medical journal, but I like to look at the raw numbers in a study, and this one really surprised me. The report in the Annals of Internal Medicine concluded that the low carbohydrate diet was more effective for weight loss and cardiovascular risk reduction than the low fat diet. Should we believe that? Were you persuaded by the report that a low carb diet is better? No, I was not. I, I think there is some value to keeping your carbs low, but I don't think about going crazy about it. It definitely works for me. I'd tried it before for a while and it worked very well. Well, I didn't go on a diet. I just stopped drinking sugary drinks and stuff like that. Were you persuaded by the report that a low-carb diet is better? No, I was not. I, I think there is some value to keeping your carbs low, but I don't think about going crazy about it. It definitely works for me. I tried it before for a while, and it worked very well. Well, I didn't go on a diet. I just stopped drinking sugary drinks and stuff like that. Let's look at their numbers. According to the report, people on the low-fat diet lost an average of about 4 pounds during the study, while those on the low-carb diet lost almost 12 pounds. That's an advantage of almost 8 pounds for the low-carb diet, but is it really? The authors collected detailed information on the participants' dietary intake. Total calories were claimed to be about the same for the two groups. Those on a low-fat diet reportedly consumed an average of 1,527 calories per day, while those on a low-carb diet took in an average of 1,448 calories. That's 79 calories a day less, which doesn't seem like much, but if you do that every day for a year, it totals almost 29,000 calories. Since 3,500 calories equals one pound, the people on the low-carb diet would be expected to lose an additional eight pounds. That means the difference between groups could be accounted for entirely by caloric intake without regard for fat or carbohydrates. Yeah, I was really pleased that after that report was broadcast, both, both you and Don Paul said, it's just one study, as if you didn't believe it, okay? <laughs> the, the, the truth is, it isn't even one study. The data don't justify the conclusions, but they do point out you can lose weight by cutting down a little every day. See, and that's why we said that, because we've been listening to you for years, and you've been saying that for years, that nothing dramatic, just cut down a little right. every day, and you can lose weight. Right. You know, you don't, you don't wake up one morning, and suddenly you're 25 pounds overweight. It takes a long time to gain that weight. You shouldn't expect to lose it quickly. Yeah. Don't punish yourself. 100 calories a day, and you'll lose weight. Great. Thanks for sorting us out on that. <laughs> Thanks so much, doctor.